Alright, I'm going to do a quick video on these sights right here. These are the Wilson Combat Vickers Tactical Battle Sights. I want to do this video because when you look up pictures of these sights, you can pretty much only find them on Glocks. There was like one picture I found of it on a VP9, but it was kind of a awkward angle and it was kind of hard to tell what it would actually look like so i want to do this for you guys out there that want to buy them for your hk45 your 45c p30s uh this is this is what it will look like it's the exact same site the site cut is all kept the same between the ones i mentioned and the vp9 it's all the same site cut so it'll be this exact site set up right here uh, I got these over, say, some Trigicon Bright and Tufts, or those uh, Heine Straight Eights, or whatever they're called, the Ledge site. I got these because I found it to be kind of a compromise of both, or a uh, best of both worlds, because it's not super, it's not a super tall site. It is taller than the uh, Novak Low Mounts. And probably about the same height as the uh, the Heinies, but what I like about these over the Heinies is the overall profile of the site just seems a little more concealed carry friendly. Uh, it's a little more uh, rounded off, I guess. I mean, the Heinies kind of ha are just like a ramp, so they come to a point almost. This doesn't really come to a point anywhere. You can see that it's kind of flattened out. The rear reminds me of a uh, of a uh, Novak site. Has a, uh, a wide U-notch on it. So we'll see how uh, accurate I am with that. But I do like it for uh, picking up my sights very quickly, which is, I think, more important in a concealed carry gun. Uh, serrated on the rear. The actual notch and uh, tritium lamps are recessed in there to help with glare. The front sight, kind of hard to see, but it is also serrated. Uh, I like that they put a ledge on this so you can rack the slide with one hand. That was uh, the big reason that I got this over just some regular Novak sites. Uh, very happy with it so far. Um, we'll see how well shooting goes with them. I'm pretty sure they'll be way better than my suppressor height sites that were on here originally. Those suppressor sites, I was not accurate with them at all. It, it seems like it, it'd be like one day I was very accurate with them. But it was a minor adjustment, so I adjusted a little bit because they were adjustable. And then the next time I went out, I couldn't get shit. So uh, I just wanted a pair of fixed sights. I don't like the idea of having uh, adjustable sights. I just don't have a need for them. And they did not conceal well at all. These conceal very well. I like them. Uh, obviously, the Novaks would conceal better because they're just lower profile. But... I'm not having an issue with these like I was with my suppressor sights. Anyway, that's what they look like on here. Highly recommend them. They're about a hundred bucks on HK parts for both. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend checking these out. By the way, it has a uh, the rear tritium color is actually yellow. Not gonna be able to really see it. But uh, you have a green front and a yellow rear, so you can actually differentiate your front sight from rear sights. So that was that was a cool surprise. I, I'm so far really liking that. Anyway, definitely recommend checking these guys out.